here at the Home Depot in Redmond and they're doing a terrific job for me getting um, 100 feet of each. Now we are on the way to the bus. Since I made a mistake, I ran 14 gauge wire all the way from the back of the bus where the battery bank is going to be to the front of the bus. So since I'm like run about 30 feet each way, that's about 60 feet of wire for one circuit. So I had to go from 14 gauge wire and step it up to like 12 gauge wire so I don't melt the wires and burn the bus down. So that's yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so today I'm I pulled the 14 gauge out the other day, and today we're gonna show you putting the uh, 12 gauge wire from the back of the bus up to the kitchen and another circuit that goes from the back of the bus up to the living room. Once I hook all these into the 12 volt fuse box and put the proper fuses in and hook up the lights. I'll be able to test it with a 12 volt battery before I actually seal the walls and make the wires less accessible. So that's coming up too. Yeah. We are almost at the bus, so we won't be talking about it for much longer. We're gonna actually be showing you guys. So Yeah, I have to actually get some work done. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> okay, so this is the new 12 gauge wire I just picked up at Home Depot. And I'm running green for a ground and black for the hot. On the other circuits I ran red and green. So green is the ground and red's the hot on those. I just wanted to use a different color because I have different gauge. It's the only reason I did that, but stays consistent that green is the ground on here, the ground. And so this circuit I just ran and we're going to just go over the circuit. It feeds the kitchen LED lights. So it comes out of the battery area and it, off the, uh, once, once this is hooked up, We'll have a fuse for it inside here. This is a 12 volt fuse panel. And it opens up. The cover comes off like that. So these are for 12 circuits. And then these would be the different fuse types you can put in, whether it's a 3 amp, 5, 10, 15, whatever, for your circuit, whatever it requires. And these are the grounds where the green wires will hook up. So for each circuit, I'll have a ground and I'll have a hot wire. Um, and then this whole circuit panel feeds off the 12 volt batteries, which we still have to hook up. So let's go back and show you the kitchen wiring. So that new wire comes right along the side of the bus and feeds all the way up to here. Eventually there will be a kitchen counter here. So I have the green and the black coming from the battery. This is going to be our kitchen light switch. We're going to get a 12 volt switch and put here. And then we have a green and a black, a ground and a hot, which goes up through here. So the first kitchen LED light will be right here on the wall. Or we may get something a little more decorative. but. When we go and purchase those, we'll see what we get. This will, again, these lights are going to be wired in um, in parallel versus series. If you wire it series, then each bulb would have less energy and it would dim as you went. So each light I do, I'm going to wire them in parallel, meaning that the power will just feed straight through to all of them at the same time, and the light will just pick up. So that's why I have the feed, the green and the black comes up here and then I have a green and black continuum. So the switch down here is going to have a continuous ground. All of that's going to be here is a black that comes in and goes out of the switch when I'm done. So the greens will be connected together and the black will feed the switch. So this will be one continuous ground that goes through all of the five lights in the kitchen. So what are you doing right now? Okay, so this is the uh, ground wire I'm running to go from the where the switch will be on the other side of the wall, light switch. So I'm running the ground for it to go all the way back to the uh, fuse panel. And I got some pre-drilled pre holes 
in the study here that I'm running these wires. <laughs> the wires are all over the place. <laughs> yep, it's quite a mess. I have to reach in there and find it. We had to take a second. So there and it is. We had to take a second and un like it was like a spaghetti thing situation. So we had to take a second and get that all settled okay. because it's all like wrapped up. So now we're back. I think I need another foot, maybe. Push this in. The stuff on the, the window is just a temporary quick thing because it gets so hot on the bus and we're like right in the middle of the sun. So it, it really does help us a lot. In case you're wondering. Yeah, we don't have any uh, insulated curtains or anything yet, so. Ideally, you shouldn't park your bus broadside to the hot afternoon sun. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Look at all those wires. What is that? Can you grab that wire? Which wire? Oh, this green one right here? Here, I got it. I got it. Ah. Okay. There's the green one. And I think I need to put some to hold this because it wants to keep pulling back on me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little uh, staple on here just temporarily until I get the black one on because the wires want to do their own thing all the time. I picked up these little guys at Home Depot. They're um, ca um, cables, staples here. Um, for wood, half inch, and they have two nails and they have a little plastic thing here, like that. Uh -huh. So that'll okay. hold that wire down pretty good. But of course, I left the hammer in front of the bus. So. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Isn't that so annoying when it happens? You have to go like all the yeah. way back to where you originally were just because you forgot something. And then if you wear a, one of those tool aprons, they always get in your way, so I don't like to wear those oh, either. Oh yeah. They can be helpful, but yeah. Uh, yeah, helpful for someone who's just standing around. <laughs> See, I'm gonna just pop that in. I'll remove those staples later. I just want this wire to stay where I want it to stay for now. So uh, now I need to go run the black wire. But before I do that, I'm gonna drill a quick hole in the wall where I want the uh, switch on the other side. So I think I, I'm going to measure up. Let me measure up really quick to be a bit more precise. Oh, okay, you're going over there. Okay, I. I um, been, no, you're coming back. Yeah, I've been putting my switches around 44 inches up from the floor. You're going quick. You're just rocking back and forth. Not so, rocking, but walking. I'm gonna make a little mark at 44 inches. It's approximately where the switch is gonna be. A little sharpie. I'm gonna get right behind here. I think the switch would be pretty good in here. It'd be out of the way. It's about 44 is probably Pretty good place. Maybe somewhere in the middle of this thing. We'll put it right about there. There are those two dots. <laughs> so now I'll probably use a little smaller drill bit. 
the wire because I don't do quite as much damage. So I'm not sure how much area the light switch is going to take up. Still have to buy those on Amazon. Now we're going to cut this and just leave about six inches sticking out so it's ready to wire the uh, wall switch. And then when I get to that part I'll figure out what to do with any extra. I need to stick it back behind the wall, but at least we will have it there. And there's the ground for the... Um, let me see the other side. Actually, I did that wrong. The ground doesn't need to go oh. through there because the ground is just going to connect and go up to the first light in the series. Wait, so then where is it going to go instead? So it's going to go feed the first light, which will come up through here and go on the uh, right side of the bus. So let me go run the uh, black wire now, just like I did the screen. Sorry we had to come back because um, the camera just shut off for some weird reason, but here we go. Um, I thought you said you were going to fix the second hole. I thought you said that it was a mistake. No, it's fine. Oh. We, oh. We just use it for the other wire there. Okay. There, so I'm thinking three puck lights in here should light up this area, the front living and passenger area. And then I want to run maybe one light over on this side, so I'm going to have to run an extension over there. Now we kept our original um, Bluebird lights, that's what these are, but they run off the bus um, factory batteries. So when I'm driving, I could turn on these lights and have the, uh, call these vintage lights, turn on. And these still have the original light bulbs that came with the bus. So we have, we'll have these lights and we'll also have runoff solar, these new lights. Okay, so this, let's cut that off now. When this is done, you won't see these wires because they'll be hidden behind the cabinets in a little conduit. Okay, so we just got the wires ran for the kitchen and the living room, and we're going to put these wires back up and hidden away so they will not be hitting our head. We uh, certainly hope you enjoyed watching our part one of mm -hmm. our video series on 12 volt wiring. And uh, so what's coming up next in our part two? is going to be the light switches that we will put in each room. They're going to be 12 volt switches, they're toggle switches. And then part of that we're also going to cover puck lights. We're going to put some of those over our kitchen counters. So we have light shining down and in the back bedroom and also up in the living area we'll have puck lights. We're also going to have some wall lights. So once we get those all connected, we're going to want to test each of our circuits. And we have about 10 circuits to test that have different fuses for them depending on the wire length and the amperage. So that should be interesting if you guys are out there trying to do your wiring on your bus or even you're, if you're thinking about buying a bus and you know that you're going to have to put lighting in there, perhaps this video will be a resource for you in the future. Hopefully. So, <laughs> so we look forward to sharing that video coming up in the near future with you guys. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell button so you get notified every time we post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see Bye. you in the next one. Bye.